Okay, I got the motor mounted back on the deck, got the blade on, got the blade brake put back together here. Uh, I just wanted to point out one kind of critical thing. So you got this piece here, it goes, here, here's your gas tank lug, and there's the threaded part of the block. So it goes in between the two like this, and you put your 5 16 thread bolt in there. Now, you don't want to forget this critical part here, or the older engines just have a spacer. If you leave that spacer out, you tighten that bolt down, you snap the lug off your gas tank, then time for a new gas tank. So yeah, don't don't forget this bolt here. Because the only other bolt that holds it, the only other thing that holds it is the intake manifold and this little bolt at the front. So you need uh, you need the two bolts and you gotta make sure that the intake manifold the carburetor goes in, you know, it goes goes on there correctly and at the same time, you know, you gotta hook your governor linkage up and all that fun stuff and then uh, one of the top cover bolts goes through uh, this on this motor here. So, yeah, just just make sure you got that uh, spacer or this piece in there. Or I, I've seen them. I've seen them with the the gas tank with the piece broke right out of it. Totally useless. So, just wanted to save you some headaches there. So, then you can proceed to tighten that one up. It requires a half inch socket, and then your four. 3 eighths are on old engine 7 16 sockets, one back here, one on your gas tank, one here at the front of the starter cover, and one over here on this side by the oil filler in this case. Now, before I get ahead of myself here, I've got to add oil to this. So the easiest way I find to put oil in these motors when they're totally empty, I take a uh, one quart or one liter oil container. They say uh, this type of engine takes uh, 18 fluid ounces. That means basically nothing to me. Uh, that's the same as approximately just over five, 0.5 of a liter. Uh, sorry, fluid ounces. Just if they said half a quart, that'd be a different matter. But anyway, so I fill up a, an oil container like this to what I need, and then I just dump it all in using a funnel. I find that much easier because you can literally fill this engine right to the top. I mean, you know, you dump like a liter and a half in it or something, but say it only holds 18 fluid ounces, which is about 0.55 liters or something like that. So. Then you can chop it with the dipstick, but if you have overfilled it, that makes life kind of difficult. So I filled the gas tank and added some uh, of the Briggsy Man's uh, favorite weapon. Dijon mustard. Put some of that down the carburetor. That's a uh, gasoline, three or four drops, something like that. Wouldn't want anybody to fill their motor with actual mustard, of course, you know. Now, I guess I'm going to have to set the camera down because, of course, this is a two handed job here. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> put the air filter back on and proceed to cut some of the grass. Just to test it out, of course. And it's getting to the point that it needs it. Bunny rabbit's loving that clover. So here we go. That's the way you like it. Starts the first pull after you shut it down. So I'd say that was a successful repair. Another Briggs lawnmower brought back to life from the dead. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope I had some helpful hints you were able to use there. So everybody, have a good one and be safe. Keep your feet away from. That's why they got all these warning stickers now. 
keep your feet away from the deck because they will disintegrate a foot in a big hurry. Somebody with a pickup truck horsing on it there. Anyway, take care.